Hi there, meet Max. Hello guys. He volunteered to help me. So from today, he will be performing examples for my theoretical stuff. Hopefully this will allow us to shoot more videos and cover more topics for you. Suppose we are given the following expressions, and we have a task to evaluate them. First of all, let's recall that i squared is equal to negative 1. This is enough to start evaluating our expressions. Let's begin with an even power. i raised to the 10th power is equal to i squared raised to the 5th power. We know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so this expression gives us negative 1 raised to the 5th power. And this is equal to negative 1. Now let's consider odd power of i. i raised to the 25th power. It is equal to i times i raised to the 24th power and gives us i times i squared raised to the 12th power. Now we substitute negative 1 instead of i squared and we get i times negative 1 raised to the 12th power and this is equal to i. Now let's have a look at the power of imaginary number. Negative 2i raised to the 15th power. First, let's factor out negative 2. We get negative 2 raised to the 15th power times i raised to the 15th power. This is equal to negative 2 raised to the 15th power times i times i raised to the 14th power which gives us negative 2 raised to the 15th power times i times i squared to the 7th power. Again, we substitute negative 1 instead of i squared, and we get negative 2 raised to the 15th power times i times negative 1 raised to the 7th power. This gives us negative 2 raised to the 15th power times i times negative 1, and equals 2 raised to the 15th power times i. Summing up, when we're dealing with an even power of i, we need to represent the expression as i squared raised to the certain power. As a result, we get either a 1 or a negative 1. When we're dealing with odd power of i, we need first to separate 1i in order to get i times i raised to the even power, and then we use the same approach as for even powers. When we're dealing with powers of imaginary numbers, we need to factor out real multipliers and then we act pretty much the same as above. Now let's consider negative powers of i. And begin with an even power. i raised to the negative fourth power is equal to 1 over i raised to the fourth power. This is equal to 1 over i squared squared. Once again, we substitute negative 1 instead of i squared, and we get 1 over negative 1 squared, and this is equal to 1. Finally, the odd negative power of i. i raised to the negative third power is equal to 1 over i cubed, which is 1 over i times i squared. We know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so the expression gives us negative 1 over i. Now we need to get rid of i in the denominator. To do this, let's multiply numerator and denominator by i. So we get negative i over i squared. Once again, we substitute negative 1 instead of i squared to get negative i over negative 1. And this is equal to i. And this is how we deal with powers of imaginary numbers.